welcome to the future. No, your eyes don't deceive you. This is what tomorrow's gaming will look like. The next generation of virtual reality headsets from Oculus Rift being demoed at E3 in LA, and the punters are on board. It was amazing. It was a little bit complicated at first because you don't use your hands, you don't use, uh, you just use your eyes. It feels very immersive in terms of the visual effects. Sony and Microsoft were also showing off their new virtual reality accessories. Previous generations of so-called VR equipment have been clunky and promises of future progress seemed a long way off. But CNET senior editor Dan Ackerman thinks the future might finally be here. Sony has their Morpheus headset that should work with your PlayStation 4. Microsoft has the HoloLens, which is a very experimental thing. It's more augmented reality. And a company called Oculus is actually owned by Facebook. That's sort of the market leader. They were the first guys with like really workable hardware. That should finally be available to buy early next year. There are worries about how much these new entertainment sets will cost, but for those here, it's mainly excitement at the progress being made with the technology. This year's E3 runs until June 18. It wasn't the right time until it was, you know, until I was inspired and I felt like I had stuff to say. So uh, it was such a big part of my life for such a long time. I needed to take a break. I did. Didn't quite know how long the break was going to be, and it ended up to be a pretty long time. Everything on the record I connect to, you know, whether I wrote it or I didn't, it, it grabbed me in a certain way, and I wanted to tell the story, so. They're all very, very relatable, you know. My relationship or anybody else's, you know, we've all been through it before, so. Uh, there's, a, there's difficult stuff on the record, and there's happy, breezy stuff on the record. I think we all should remember to make all of those breaths count, you know, through the good times and the bad times, you know, just remembering to take a moment.